Today's topic. We have uh, yet another Karen that decided to cry on camera, so let's pop it in. Mika Stalfer. So this is by far the hardest video James and I have ever yeah. publicly had to make. Little context, Mika was adopting a young boy from, I believe it's China. The boy did have a- No, kind of... say it correctly. What? From where? China. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, the boy did have a pre-existing condition. Uh, what was it? Are you aware? Autism. Okay. And essentially, she made a whole bunch of videos talking about the process of adopting him. A whole bunch of people started following her. She made a lot of money. She went through the process. And then three years uh, went by and eventually people come to find out that she had given up the child to somebody else because he was too difficult to handle. That's the gist of it. So let's watch her video as she apologizes to a lot of the outrage that's happened since the um, letting go of the child. But before I get into the video, I did just want to say thank you to how amazing our viewers have been we have some viewers who have been just like so incredibly kind and respectful of our son's privacy i just want to say thank you like that really got me through some really hard times the viewers have been respectful of your son's privacy yet you're the one that puts your son's privacy out there what do that again what go ahead look for it Search for it. Search for the logic. Can you find it? Yes? No? Keep searching. Huh? Who is Charlie? Where, Where is Charlie? Though? Where is he? What the f What did you just say? Uh-huh. Hey, 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 hey. She's the victim. Let's listen to her. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I just want to say thanks. Like, you have no idea what that means to me and the, some of the special messages that you've sent. Like, just... Ooh. I'm, I'm dancing because you know what, mate? Here comes the work. Thank you for the bumper. I can't say enough how hard Micah has tried throughout this entire journey and the amount of effort she's put into this and helping Huxley as much as she can. So, I mean, you guys have been part of this adoption journey even before. Ooh, Warworks part two. Let's go. I definitely approve of everything being all white in this <laughs> image because it definitely gives an image of like sincerity and mm -hmm. pureness mm -hmm. and really trying to create reconciliation, peace. Don't forget the beige backdrop. Okay, but let's listen. Beige. I think I think we're being too judgmental because of our own biases. We so let's said, give it a chance. We haven't said shit. We've said a lot. Okay. Look at your face. Now continue dancing. You know, we, we picked up Huxley throughout the whole process and you know, with international adoption, sometimes there's unknowns and things that are not transparent on files and things like that. And once Huxley came home, there was a lot more special needs that we weren't aware of and that we were not told. Okay, I have to stop up there because he lied. All right, let's just start there. You got receipts? And, and it's nothing against this physician. You know, she's just listening to what other doctors, other neurosurgeons and um, neurodevelopment specialists are telling her. But um, her prognosis and everything for our son just went drastic. She kind of almost discouraged us from adopting him, like saying that this is going to be severe, this is going to be a lot, you know, we don't know what unknown elements could be. It was hard. It was hard to hear somebody say that. If anything, my child is not returnable. So when I heard all of the things that that doctor was telling us, it kind of went in one ear and out the other. No matter what state he came to us, that we would love him. And that's one thing that I'm starting to love about this process. My child is not... Returnable. You got receipts? Ooh. <laughs> uh, now I got this clip from Spill Sesh. All right. Now she did a great job on, on her video on this. So you can go check her out. Spill Sesh? Yes. Ooh. Uh, I couldn't find the original vlogs because unfortunately. She took them down. She took them down. So people wouldn't be able to catch all the receipts. But some people did. So thank you for that. It's really hard hearing from the medical professionals a lot of their feedback and things that have been upsetting, really upsetting for us because this is not what we've ever wanted to hear. We've never wanted to be in this position. 
I don't think anybody's saying that you guys want to be in this position, but you guys were negligent. And the thing about becoming a parent and choosing to adopt a child from a place like that into your home, into your circumstances, knowing what he has. Uh, I don't believe that you wanted this outcome, but you were so incredibly negligent that it still reflects poorly on your character. The thing that happened... You're in, that, I just want to finish this. Yeah, thing. go ahead. You, 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 you drink and drive. You don't intend to kill 10 people when you do it, but it doesn't change the fact that you're very negligent. In that same token, this is that level of negligence. Don't adopt children. Don't bring them in. And you kept him for three years. There are other adoptions that happen where... A child is brought in it doesn't work but they tell you to make sure that you return that child as soon as possible as to not scar them you kept this child for three years and to add to the fact that you profit off of them financially it looks exponentially worse it looks exponentially worse on you go ahead the thing that happened is that sometimes you have a you you have a, a want mm -hmm. a goal mm -hmm. right as wanting a child you want a child and Wanting that child so much mm. surpasses you being able to see you you lose any kind of sense of logic and you don't you don't see all the other outcomes and even if people tell you no you really want that child mm. I've seen some people wanted to get married they didn't want they didn't want a mm. relationship they wanted a wedding ceremony. I understand, and them wanting that, that goal, that image that they had as a little girl, as a little, you're having that surpass everything. That no, don't, don't go into that. You're going too quick. This is not the right thing. It didn't matter because their goal, their goal was bigger than reason. I, I e, I will get this no matter what, and that's what happened. You wanted this child, no matter what. And we've been trying to. Get him, get his needs met, and help him out as much as possible. It's really hard, is it? And we truly love him. There's not an ounce of our body that doesn't love Huxley with all of our being. There wasn't a, a minute that I didn't try our hardest, and that's why, like on Instagram and stuff, I've tried to like let you know as little as I could, but I couldn't tell you anymore because I didn't want to mess anything up with what's going on legally. And if I said something, was I going to mess up things for his future? <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's, uh, it's something about white women and crying. They always try to make themselves out to be the victim of the situation. I, I just can't stand it. I really just can't. You traumatize a child and you want me to believe you're the victim? No, you were the negligent one. You can be remorseful, but you getting on here to cry and be like, I just, I was trying to be a good person. I was trying to be a... You, you don't need to up. hear that. You fucked up. Explain how you were negligent, accept the responsibility and the criticism that you're receiving, and take that. And it's not people. It's not because people are not criticizing you that they're being... Oh, there's, being, there's so much people that, you know, there's some people, there's so much people that have been so, this is like, they're so respectful and so, you know, so nice. No, they're just not holding you accountable. And it's just been a really hard place to be in, like, because... You're grieving. You, I want to share with you guys. Like I know deep down inside that I don't have to say anything. Like I'm not. I don't have to say this. I don't have to. But I want to. Like I want to tell you. You guys have been there for us for so much, and I wanna. I wanna fill you in on what's going on and what hard. Like, do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. So when you get like insidious, hurtful comments, it just like really makes it hurt worse. It's not about me at all, but it's just like this. Oh, oh, shut up. Shut your mouth. It's just shut up. You just spent shut up your mouth. It's, it's not about me. It's not about me. But you make a whole video about you. Oh, shut up your mouth. Femme Beko. Femme Beko. Jolo. He sent it up. Femme Beko. Abzimla. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> not about me. So you, you, you go. Ah! Do I feel like a failure as a mother? 5,000%. And it hurts exponentially more when you guys write insidious comments about me. It hurts. But this is not about me. So then why are you incessantly talking about how both, how bad both of you feel? Merci. 
Merci beaucoup. Merci. It's like saying me, 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 but it's not about me. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened, though. That's exactly what she. That's exactly what she did. Me, 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 me. I, I feel that. I feel we, me, we, me, 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 we, me, 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 we, me, we, me. It's not about me. All right. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of here. Play the tape. I'm not done laughing. I'm just gonna be out there laughing. The last couple months have been like the hardest thing I could have ever imagined going to, choosing to do. Because ultimately, after pouring our guts and our heart into this little boy. The reason why we can't go into detail of what actually transpired is because we're truly going to protect Huxley's privacy and not let people know. Okay. Oh! Okay, I, 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 I was gonna wait till the end, but you've repeated this point five times. I can't. Yo, get him. I can't. Get him. I have a big problem with yes. YouTubers putting their kids online. I'm sorry, but you turning your children into content and you monetizing it is a big issue to me. And it affects your parenting, it affects your relationship with them, and it affects their psyche. So don't sit here and say, I was trying to respect their privacy when you've made hundreds of thousands of dollars on a child that you abandoned. You can miss me with that fucking bullshit. Get him! That is absolute nonsense. How many more YouTubers do we have to see stop putting their kids up on YouTube because they recognize how toxic it is for you to sit there and be like, oh my God, I'm trying to respect their privacy. No, now that you can't monetize it, you're trying to make yourself look like a good person. But don't say that you're trying to respect their privacy. That's ridiculous. That's nonsense. Go on with that ugly jacket. Tell them fuck. Yo, I can't with this bullshit. Yes. This is too much. There, there's something really perverse about that. Absolutely. You are you are trading your child's future and their well-being for money. And and we're watching it happen in real time for other people's entertainment. It's disgusting. And this with adults I wouldn't even do it with my family members. I keep my family members off. Voila. But with adults, at least they can consent. Yup. With children, they can't. Mm -hmm. And now that you don't have it no more, you're just gonna run back and nah, nah, nah. I, right now I wanna protect them, but all these videos that you did, you wanna protect them? Girl, if you don't get the hole, the hole, you and your hubby out of here. What happened to what everything that went on to make us make this decision. this decision or to even come to medical professionals with the need to get more help. Anything that happened in the home that was hard for Hux, that's not fair for me to put out there publicly. That's his privacy. Yo, so no, 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 no. Now that it's hard and everything and stuff, it's all about pri No, bitch. Um, he can't say bitch, right? No, boo-boo bear. I really want to say bitch. Uh, we know. They know. No, witch. No, witch. Oh, it feels kind of good, though. Witch is pretty nice. <laughs> witch is pretty nice. Witch is a great I'm going to say this. God, got it nice. Woo, I got it. No, witch. We don't believe you. Now that it's done, no. Let me ask you guys this, all right? With all sincerity. Do you guys believe what she's saying is sincere? And if you do, I ask you one question. Had this been her biological child, do you think she would have tried to abandon it? It's just because she had the option. She could. It was not truly hers. And she knew that at the end of the day. That's why she returned it. So she didn't truly love the kid as a mother would love the kid. It is what it is. Ashimina Shaya, Ashimina Shanda, go in peace. Hey, if you guys look at deadbeat fathers like trash. That's trash right there. There you go. You left your kid. Oof. Great analogy. Let's see. So we're not going to talk about that. That's not, that's not appropriate. Like that's, and that'll never be appropriate. I didn't adopt a little boy to share these things publicly. Every now and then you may have gotten like a teeny like struggle or like a hardship when I was trying to be like really raw and real, but we haven't intentionally, like day mm -hmm. one intentionally, 99, 95% of the struggles we have never, never publicly shared. aired ever ever with pure intent of respecting his privacy not to give you a fake facade or to be lack of transparency but to respect 
our son's privacy and this is all that we're okay with sharing. The reason we haven't updated you sooner is because the medical professionals, the agencies, multiple people have been allowing for Huxley to spend time with some different people to see and to make the perfect match and fit for his now new forever family. From the updates we've gotten from the agency and- Forever family sounds funny when you were supposed to be that. I guess forever is not forever if it's an option, is it? Forever is like, not forever. Till death do us part. But then again, if something happens, I'm going to opt out. Okay. Through the adoption agency, like they were able to place him in what they felt was literally the perfect match. When we met, like Jimmy said earlier, when we got hugs, we didn't know a lot of these unknowns. And when age. Stop lying. Box. All right, I'm done. Blah, yeah, blah, no, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, her new mother has as as all, like, you know, medical. What about all these mothers and fathers that have autistic, autistic children and they don't have the, the medical capacities and they still go through it? All right, I'm going to wrap it up on this point. <clears throat> I know a lot of white people who got this white savior complex. That's what this looks like to me. Can't say for sure, just my hunch. I know too many white women who love to go to Africa with zero skill sets, pretend like they're building a school, pay a whole bunch of money, and then take a whole bunch of social media pictures for social currency to get their feeling of superiority and leave. This is what that looked like to me. Because the moment shit actually got hard, turns out you didn't really want to help. Turns out you weren't actually there for the struggle. You were just there to make yourself feel good. Oh yeah, and once, oh yeah. And once you didn't feel good no more, you opt out. Yeah, because all those bricks that you guys laid up in Africa, they get taken down. We just let you to come here for the money. That's it. That's all it was for. So I want her to miss me with all this other nonsense. I find it so disgusting whenever people go to third world countries and run these little gambits. All right. There's all kinds of problems with the adoption process, and that's a whole different story. But when it comes to this stuff, it reeks of that issue of like, I'm going to go to a third world country and just prove how much of a good person I am just to reinforce my own ideas of myself, you know, because I just grew up in like such like a sheltered life. And I just want to make sure that. I can convince myself that like I'm a good person. Yeah. Yes. What do you think about her white tears? Man, listen, white women in their tears, I just, I don't know what it is. I think I'm inoculated. I sure. can start dancing every time I hear that. I'm like, oh, let me just go on my little, mm -hmm. I just can't buy it. Some of them just do, you can just tell what it's for. Yep. And I've just seen too many of them use it and weaponize it as a means of self-defense. And I'm just like, no, no, you're not going to manipulate me anymore. You're not going to gain my sympathy. I'm not going to encourage this so that hopefully the next generation of girls who grew up don't look at this behavior and be like, when I'm in a trouble, I'm going to just cry to get out of it. Nah, nah, I'm not with that. So that's all I have to say. Michael Jackson with a fucking <laughs> boy. If you don't get the fuck out of here, oh, <laughs> where the fuck did you get this? Bitch? I had hit in my closet for a minute, nigga. When it's time to get wild, I get wild. This yeah. is really ugly. I never really took a look at it. What that jacket? What is it? What are you gonna say? It's ugly as. How's it ugly? It's ugly as f Nah, nigga, this shit's fire, B. What you mean? Yo, hold up, hold up. Yo, get out the way, nigga. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? You don't think this shit's fire, my nigga? It's ugly as f Nigga, yo, I got shoulder pads back in the 70s. You know where I got this? Yeah. My mom's closet. Of course you did. Hey! My to... mom got some skills, yo. Yeah, bro. Because you know my mom used to boogie down when it was haram haram. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You gonna turn off the air conditioner? I don't have I don't have any shoulder pads on none of my shit. You know why? Cause you got big shoulders. Got yeah, shoulders. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just mad that you Or maybe cause your mom ain't got some nice clothes. Oh, what'd you say about your mama? What? Yeah. <laughs> that you wear your mama's clothes. Yeah, I don't mind. My mom got some good, good shit. Re, 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 reuse, passed down from generation to generation. That's right. That's in right. The, still in the closet. No, 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 no. I pulled it out. What's up? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Once I pull out that, once I pull this out of my closet, the girls are like, pull something else out for me, won't you? Everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah, boy. If you don't get another fucking shirt, 
This shit's nice. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. L listen, let me wear what I wear. You don't. You listen, nigga. You wear fucking bathrobes to do videos. And my bathrobes. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So how about you don't shut the fuck up? My bathrobes. Ain't nigga, try no to talk to me bag. about. Uh, I want to wear bathrobes. Okay, then wear them. I don't say nothing. Cause they're nice. Yeah. No, you think they're nice. They're nice. You think they're nice. They're super nice. And you're allowed to wear them. My bathrobe. People be like, yo, why is Prince wearing a bathrobe in public? Cause my shit is exactly. nice. Exactly. Exactly. It's all about just let people do what they want to do. All right. Go ahead. All superstars. Right. All right. Let's start today's topic. Yeah. This girl was messing me the other day, hating on your Cause you had this red shirt with Sriracha and she's like, no, 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 no. Where I'm from is just unacceptable. Red is not his palate. Please tell him to change. So I was like, if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> The fuck out of here. Damn, is that the same Jasmine? No, it's another one. Oh, another one that wanted my. Yo, Jasmine, Jasmine's been leaving you alone. Yeah, because you told her to leave me alone. <laughs> leave. <laughs> did you? Yeah, don't. Leave my nigga alone. No, you know what I did? I asked her basically why she was so cheesed with you. I didn't understand, like, what was her, what was her obsession? There's, there's no sense. Uh, yeah, there was, there, it was that, make, that makes no sense. It was weird. It was weird. It was super weird. And, and especially because I talked to her and she was a decent person. So I was like, why do you get out of the yeah. way? You know, that's the weird thing when you speak to somebody yeah. who engages in, like, negative comments. But, but that, you realize, like, oh, this is, like, not necessarily a bad person. They just say foul things on the yeah, internet. because they just want and they just can. Yeah, and so then I think, I think after we spoke, she, she explained so it. So what was it about this broad? Well, she doesn't like you, that's for sure. Which is fine. Yes, but it's the reason she expressed it. And, and I was, and I think, I don't think she realizes it, but I think a lot of people just do it because it's the internet and they feel a disconnect from the people that they're talking about. So they don't recognize, with us, there's not a real impact with when they say that stuff. No, for me, I'm just curious as to why would yeah, you say it? Yeah, but Because even I would never think of saying that to strangers. But I do a, also admit this. I will admit this. Go ahead. Sometimes when I'm replying to comments online, I am a little bit more stern than I would be if I was face to face okay. with somebody. But I would never stoop to the level that they stoop. Yo, she went low, low. I'm just like, yo, yeah. if you don't like me, that's fine. That is super fine. Yeah. But Lil, she went just out. She was out there. Yeah. Super out there. But anyways, let's and get out. And, 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 and then it's one thing to hate someone, mm. but paying to hate. <laughs> well, that, that's a. That's a new level. To be fair, though, she's just a big supporter of mine, so she was giving me money oh, okay. was being petty at the same time. Okay, but she doesn't realize that half the money's going to me? Dumb. We'll cut that part out, but yeah. Don't. I said what I said. All right, let's Dumb. move on. I can't put that word in. Dumb itch.